you never really know how it's going to happen, like what's going to happen or what direction it's really going to yeah. go in. We always have an idea in our head. It's like we go through waves of like, oh yeah, yeah, this is totally going to work. And then it's like, oh, I have actually no idea how this is going to work. <laughs> We always want to challenge ourselves, we want to put ourselves out of our comfort zone, even in terms of drawing, printing, mm -hmm. scale, you know, and we pushed ourselves as far as we thought we could go with Iris, but now we're like ready for something new and scary and challenging again, so that's why we're like, let's go big this time, we've never done it before. The kind of concept behind all of this? is this an idea we've had and we've kind of had it for over a year now as well. Mm -hmm. It has been something that we just woke up on the 1st of January and said this is what we're going to do this year. It is a project that's been just kind of bubbling on the sidelines <coughs> while we've been doing other projects. So it was kind of nice to flesh it out and make a decision at the end of last year that this was going to be, this would be what we would choose to do as our second collection. But that kind of idea of completely turning what we did last year on its head and just going in a more abstract approach mm. um, and really feeling our way and using kind of our gut instinct of what we feel will work, what won't work. And then also kind of being like, can we go a little bit further with this? It is is the exciting side of it, mm. but scary. <laughs> Gonna, it's going to be rolls of paper. Yeah. So once we have the illustrations complete and kind of we're down to more the kind of composition with on the page, then that will probably dictate the length. But roughly a meter and a half by maybe two and a half meters. It's also then exhibiting them and showcasing them. We need to be clever about that as well and know that they're going to fit or hang in a space. Yeah. Our plan originally was to do what we did last year, rent a space, uh, showcase this new collection, but we wanted something different because this collection was so different in terms of size. And we were having all those meetings to make that happen. And then we got a call from Brian Thomas to come in. Yeah, John Redmond um, just said, we want you to be part of this six artists for art and style and to fill a window with our art piece. And it was a blank canvas as in whatever we wanted to do. They were going to basically design off our artwork. And if they asked us, like, would you be interested? And at that stage, we had all these other meetings lined up to sort out the space and put deposits down and meet with PR and we, all this we, kind of stuff. And then as soon as we left, we were like, OK, we need to go for a pint because <laughs> this totally changes the game. Yeah, and cancel everything and and plan and also bring our deadline forward because yeah. we had originally envisioned this to be kicking off in April and the dates were the 15th of March. We knew from the last time that we, we had to pre-plan it was going to take at least six weeks, if not eight, to turn out a show in terms of do, prepping for the work, doing the work and then PR. But then we're like, okay, someone else is doing PR for us. That takes back a bit of time for us. We don't have to um, prep the space. We yeah, don't. we don't have to worry about invites or interviews or anything like that, that we can literally just make the work happen and physically produce and have it in the window. It's a funny thing walking down Grafton Street and seeing your work in a window in Brown Thomas. It's a wonderful feeling to see that. But I think it's the platform that Brown Thomas have given us from that has just opened up for us in the last six weeks. Mm. And I think that's why there's a feeling of it's not just boxed off and done. The window's done. The whole bigger project around that mm. is actually just growing.
It doesn't feel like it's over. Ironically enough, it feels like we're just getting started.